did say I wanted a right back, but I guess a left back I'll have to do in this case, won't it? Sunderland AFC is delighted to announce that Denver Hume has signed a new contract at the Stadium of Light. The left back has put pen to paper on a new two year deal on Weir's side, with the club option of a further year also included. After joint SCFC's academy aged eight, Hume has gone on to make 63 Skybet League One appearances for the lads, scoring twice in that time. After putting pen to paper, Hume said, I am pleased to have signed a new deal after a long summer and my, now my focus is on working hard and getting back to full fitness. I feel in good shape and I've been get, and I've been back out on the grass for a while now, so it's just about getting that match sharpness under my belt, match fitness rather, and kicking on from there. Johnson added, Our only regret this wasn't completed sooner, but we are delighted to have retained another quality player to our squad. He is a player that I'm very excited to work with because I see his strengths and weaknesses, but more than anything, I see a young man with high potential. If he is a good student and consistent in approach, as he has been, always has been since day one, and then I believe we can iron out his flaws and turn his strengths into super strengths. He has a wonderful vehicle here with a great set of staff that want to help in every way. So his challenge now is to keep improving. There you go, guys. There's the statement. Um, as you can see from the title, Denver Hume has signed a new two-year contract on Wearside, obviously with the option of a further year, which you'd imagine that if he makes so many appearances, that then, then the club will obviously exercise that clause. Just doesn't want to go into it. Um, I mean... Like I've said, look, I like Denver Hume as a player, personally. I, I don't quite get this Denver Hume is terrible narrative. I don't agree with it. Um, I think that Denver Hume, if he can improve his distribution, I think he's actually a pretty a really capable fullback, especially at League One level, potentially could go higher. Um, my only annoyance with this is that it took about three and a half months to sort, because really it shouldn't have done. I know people might go, agent power, agent power. Well, at the end of the day, the agent works for the player, not the other way around. So I think that, you know, the agent, need, I mean, unfortunately that is how football works. The agents are more bothered about lining their pockets than actually helping players out. But um, look, at the end of the day, Denver Hume has got to earn his way considerably back into the side. And I still feel he's got quite a bit to answer for after stalling and stalling and stalling with the contract. Now, maybe a part of that hasn't been helped by the fact that he's injury prone and that Sunderland, I think that at one point, if rumours are to be believed anyway, we don't know if this is true, Sunderland apparently offered um, a good contract, but then since he got injured, retracted that and offered a one on lower wages, um, which Hume obviously wasn't happy with. Uh, now, that, that's allegedly. We don't know whether that is true or not, so I'm just making that clear in the video now. Um, but at the end of the day, I do think it is fair that we did reduce the wages a little bit because we're trying to get value for money here and what we're paying for. If we're paying someone good wages, we expect some good quality back from them. We expect um, us, to, us to see them play regularly. And while I like Hume, he has been injury prone. That's the issue. Now, but anyway, he is re-signed. I did say at the start of the summer window that if you lost Wyke but kept McGeady 09 and Hume, I would have, I would have took that. And... And obviously now we pretty much have done that. So, you, don't get me wrong, I like the look of Sirkin. I like the look of Sirkin, especially defensively. It's so refreshing for once to have a full back who can defend. You know, um, it's so refreshing to have a full back who can actually defend properly. Um, well, so far anyway. It's still early in his Sunderland career, but regardless. So, with Hume though, he'll have to, I think he'll probably be competing with Sirkin now. Um, so if that's the case, I think we're now going to start seeing Niall Huggins as a right back. And he'll probably be competing with Winchester for that position. Um, I said before, I still would have wanted another right back and another striker in, but there you go. You know, it is what it is. Hopefully we'll get them in the January window should we need them. But nevertheless, Hume has re-signed. What do you guys think of the deal? I like Denver Hume personally, um, but I think it's going to be quite a while before we're going to see him in first team action. We might see him in the EFL Trophy in the Cup games, and I think I would use him in those games to try and get him some fitness. Um, but at the end of the day, I like Hume. I think he's all right defensively, and I think he can offer something going forward. So I've rambled on enough. I love you and leave you there, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe if you wish to. And I'll see you all at the weekend for the uh, Accrington reaction. Hopefully, we're three points clear of them by the time that game's finished.